So it's the 9th of January and it's a pretty big day for Winston because he's going to try out his new bike trailer. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of background. Winston and I used to go on a lot of bike rides together. I never tied him to the bike, never had a lead on him, never had nothing on him. He used to run in front, he used to follow the trail, and I used to stay behind him. So he used to set the pace and I stayed with him. Occasionally we'd race and stuff for a bit of fun, but more often than not it was going at his pace. But as he got older, um, that type of exercise became too intense and too strenuous for him. So he's 12 years old now and we stopped going for bike rides probably when he was eight or nine. Now, when we've been away camping in the caravan, we've been on a lot of bike trails or there's been a lot of bike trails nearby. And I've been thinking oh, it would be really good to go for a bike ride, but he's too old for it. He can do a bit of running, but certainly not at the same um, distance and intensity that he used to do. So after a bit of Googling, I found this, which is actually a dog bike trailer. You can get them for kids as well, but this one is actually made for dogs or pets. I think you can put cats in as well. But anyway, it's a pet bike trailer. So today I'm going to see what he thinks of it. Okay, so our first job is to get our old bike out of the shed where it's been sat for the last three years to give it a clean up and to make sure everything is still working. Everything was fine apart from it had some cracked mud flaps so I bought a cheap pair of Amazon and fitted them. Now the bike isn't anything special but it does the job. Next we needed to attach the trailer to the bike now I'd already spanned on the attachment, so it was just a case of pushing it in and locking it. It was then time to introduce Winston to the trailer. So it was lots of treats, making it nice and positive, just getting him used to going in and out. I started just by pushing him around the yard. I hadn't shut the back door at this point. I wanted it open so he could get in and get out and know that he was rewarded when he stayed in it. After pushing it around, seeing that he was quite comfortable, I then decided to get on the bike and to have a little pedal. He did jump out a couple of times, but that was fine because as soon as I asked him to go back in, he went back in and then I rewarded him for it. But overall, this was actually quite positive and he was happy to jump in and out and he didn't seem distressed by being inside of the trailer at all. Okay, so I've got everything in the back of the van. I think I need to get a roof carrier because that'll just be better off. Been put on the roof, um, but let me show you the tricycle thing. So that falls down flat. The wheels do come off, but I can't, my hands aren't strong enough to squeeze the pins to pop it out. So I just left them on. But yeah, the wheels do come off and it falls down even flatter. But yeah, we're in. So we headed off to Delamere Forest, mainly because this place is only 40 minutes from our house. It has big wide tracks that I know we can cycle down and the trailer is going to fit down and we're not going to be in anybody's way. And we also have the lake that I know we can just kind of go around and around and around. I don't have to worry about any traffic. I don't have to worry about crossing any roads. I can just focus solely on Winston and getting him used to the trailer. Right, so I can't put Winston straight into the trailer. That is because he knows his job. He knows that when I get the bike out, he runs in front and he enjoys that and he gets very excited by that. So if I then take this excited dog with all this energy and I put him into a confined space, it would be like he almost wants to explode inside. So the plan of action is that I would first start just by pushing the bike allow him to have a little bit of a run and to get a bit warmed up then we would go cycling 
and I would allow him to run. I would let him to get all of his energy out, all of his excitement out, allow him to do his job. And then once he starts to get a little bit tired, then I would put him in the trailer. Where are you going? <coughs> That's it, you are too slow. <laughs> But little did I know that my 12 year old senior dog just kept on going and going and going. He went for much longer than I expected him to. In fact, he never really got tired. He was always game for running. And as you can see, he stayed well in front of the bike and he just wasn't showing any signs of being tired whatsoever. But eventually I was gonna to have to put him in the trailer. So this is his first attempt in the trailer. Now, as you can see, he went in no problem at all, which I was very happy with. I then fastened the back door. Now, as you can see, I am moving very slowly and very calmly. And I'm doing that on purpose because I want Winston to associate going in the trailer with being calm, rather than the excitable running energy that he has when he's out of the trailer. So I started off very slow and as you can see on his face, he's rather confused by it all. This isn't what he does. He's supposed to be in front of the bike and he's supposed to be running. But now he's behind the bike and he's stationary. So he did start to freak out just a little bit. Now when he's looking up like that and he's fixed and his eyes are straight forward, that is when I can turn around and look at him. He loves eye contact, but the problem is when I'm on the bike, I can't turn and face him all the time. And when I turn to look forward, that's when he loses himself a little bit. As you can see, he tried to get out there and I stopped, told him to get back in and he did. And then he was like, okay, I've got to stay in here. That was the worst thing Winston done on this trip, um, which I was quite happy with. I did think he would have a little bit of a problem with it. He's had several years of running with the bike. This is very new to him. When I could turn around and look at him, he would sit quietly. But when I turn back to face where I was going, that is when he would wriggle around in the back of it. I kept going quite slow for a while. And then when he settled down, and after he had a few moments of just sitting quietly, then I stopped the bike and I let him back out again. So I just took him out and he went absolutely crazy, barking, running around you think i'd imprisoned him for three years of his life you can hear him a bit now but yeah i don't know he just he, he, didn't, he wanted out he wanted to run he's like i don't stay in here i run so yeah he's gone a bit into overdrive now so i'm gonna let him run for a bit longer and then try and do the same again i'm kind of just going to keep repeating it and hopefully they'll start to get used to that hopefully <laughs> he's got to be getting tired look how close he is to the bike he's usually miles ahead he just doesn't give up though <laughs> i let him have a bit longer and then he'll go back in the trailer again. Why aren't you panting? <laughs> are you... <laughs> are you not tired first? Hey, what's your breathing? We're not going yet. Watch him as soon as I go near the bike.
I only touched it. If I get rum, 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 rum. on it, he goes rum. crazy. Rum. Rum. You're too old though. You can't keep doing that. You're going to have to go into your trailer at some point. Aren't you? Hey? My nose is running. You're going to have to go in your trailer. You're going to have to get used to it. I know you like running, but it's too much for you now. Although, he seems to be doing a good job of proving me wrong today. Hey, how can you keep going? You was 12. I've already done about three mile. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right, let's try a little bit in the trailer and I'll let you back out again, okay? Good boy. So this was his second attempt. Now he knows what's going to happen now, he knows that he's going to stay in this trailer. So I was very happy that he was still very enthusiastic about jumping inside of it. He didn't hesitate and he didn't have like, oh I don't really want to go in there. He jumped in straight away. So I give him lots of treats, lots of praise and again just keeping everything nice and calm. So hopefully he will start to associate the trailer with sitting calmly. So this time, Winston didn't try to get out. Now he wasn't fully relaxed, but he didn't have those little panic moments, which I was really happy to see. Even by just the second time, it was clear that he was making progress and he was starting to feel happier about being in the trailer. So I cycled for a little bit longer this time before stopping, getting Winston out and allowing him to run again. Once he started to show signs of being tired, I would then stop and put him in the trailer for another go. Okay, I think we're about ready for round three. It's quite slow now. So let's pull over here and we'll go for round three in the trailer. Steady wins. Ooh. Now at this point, he really started to understand what was happening and he started to feel a lot more comfortable and this was probably his best try so far. He just sat there quite happily, accepted everything, and I didn't have to keep looking back so much. Now, when I was watching this footage back, um, what I noticed was that this little trailer actually gets shaken up quite a lot on this gravel terrain. When I was riding the bike, I didn't notice it that much and I thought it had a little shake, but not much. But when you watch this footage in real time, it looks as though Winston sat on top of a washing machine. Poor little boy's getting shaken left, right and centre. So I felt very sorry for him at that point. So I need to make a mental note that when we are out on bike riding adventures, if we are on a gravel trail, I must take it a little bit slower and I can only pick up the pace on flatter terrain. But he was so good to, this is obviously his only his third time in the trailer, so he was so good to just accept that and to take that on board. Obviously it would have been much easier for him on a level track, but yeah, he's such a little superstar and he handled it so well. Okay, so he's just done his third time in the trailer. 
was so good. It's going to go the way. So I'm going to let him run all the way back home now. So I'm very happy with that third attempt and I'm hoping that by doing this more and more he will get used to going in the trailer and eventually he'll start to tell me when he's tired and when he wants to get in the trailer and then when he wants to get out and start running so hopefully that's the plan oh my god I need two hands I'm gonna go 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 down the hill And then when we got back to the van, Winston got his post-adventure treats, which I think here is a chicken foot. And then I set the phone up to record me taking the trailer off the bike. But I stupidly put the phone up against Winston's treat box. So Winston is sat guarding his treats and blocking the shot. And if you notice, he moves out of the way when I'm finished. How nice of him. But here's the trailer, here's how easy it goes down. So you take the flag out. Now the flag is actually really important. It's a fun thing as well, but it's actually really important because if you are cycling down roads, the flag is what allows cars to see that there is something behind your bike. And then to flatten it, you just pull out one of the rods at the top and it folds down. Now as mentioned in the introduction, you can take the wheels off but my grip strength isn't strong enough to pop them out, so I just leave them on. And then it was time for us to head home again. Now overall, I was super happy with how today went. I was a little bit apprehensive that Winston might hate the trailer because he's so used to running in front of the bike but it was a very positive first go and I'm looking forward to now having more bike adventures with Winston. Now the next morning, I was a little concerned that Winston might be a little stiff or a little sore from all the running that I did the day before especially because he's 12 years old and it's been a couple of years since he's done that type of exercise. But being the little trooper that he is, he came out showing no signs whatsoever and we had a normal walk and he was exactly the same as he is every morning on our walks. So a very happy result. Now thank you very much for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it and we'll catch you guys on the next one.